Welcome back to another episode of Fiction Kitchen, where we show you how to recreate food and beverages from books, TV, movies and video games. For November 2022, Miss Michelle will show you how to make delicious fried green tomatoes inspired by the 1987 novel, Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg, which was later adapted into the 1991 film starring Kathy Bates and Jessica Tandy. There really is a Whistle Stop Cafe which can be found in Juliet, Georgia. The original building was built in 1927 and served as a general merchandise store offering goods and produce. In the 1990s the building was rented for the filming of Fried Green Tomatoes, and the owners decided to reopen the building as the original Whistle Stop Cafe, where the southern specialty is served daily. For this video, Miss Michelle will be showing how to make the original recipe from scratch and using gluten-free ingredients. For the regular recipe, switch out the gluten-free self-rising flour recipe with 1.5 cups of regular self-rising flour. To make the recipe easier, measure out your ingredients before you begin. You will need 1 and a half cups of flour A half a cup of cornmeal 2 teaspoons of baking powder 1 teaspoon psyllium husk powder Half a teaspoon of tapioca flour Half a teaspoon of salt Half a teaspoon of black pepper Around three-fourths a liter of buttermilk One egg And three to four green tomatoes, sliced If you cannot find green tomatoes, Kamado tomatoes or firm red tomatoes will work just fine You will also need a skillet or frying pan, tongs, sea salt and vegetable oil. To slice the tomatoes, we are using a mandolin slicer on the quarter inch setting. Be very careful using this tool. To begin, we will make our batter. Start by mixing flour, cornmeal, salt, pepper, psyllium husk, tapioca flour and baking powder in a large bowl. Once combined, mix in the egg. Once the egg is mixed in, gradually add buttermilk to the mixture, stirring regularly until you have the consistency of pancake batter. Depending on what flour you use this can be between 1 half to 3 fourths of a liter. Set the batter aside in the fridge as we move on to slicing tomatoes. Carefully run your tomatoes across the mandolin slicer or use a knife and cut quarter-inch slices. Lay the tomatoes on a paper towel and pat the excess juice. This is important so that the batter will stick to the slices. Once done, set up your fryer conveyor line and add vegetable oil to your skillet on medium heat.
Once the oil is hot enough, dip a slice into the batter and make sure it is fully coated before dropping it into the hot oil. Cook the slices for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side until they are golden brown. Once done, drain the slice and then place it on a cooking sheet lined with paper towels to absorb the excess oil. As it drains, sprinkle some sea salt on top of the fried green tomatoes. For larger slices, you may need additional frying time. This batter is also good for chicken. With the remaining batter, I tenderized chicken breasts and fried them up for about 4 minutes on each side, drained and then fried again until the batter is nice and crispy. You can enjoy the tomatoes and chicken on their own because they are very juicy and flavorful, but a chipotle aioli pairs nicely as well. My family really enjoyed this recipe, and we hope you enjoy it too. We'll see you next time for our last Fiction Kitchen of 2022.